Hey, what's going on guys? Chordmaster is here and today's a very special day because today I'm going to be teaching you a few basic things about chords um, and I'm going to do so on the OP1 field, something that I've wanted to do for a while and I'm excited and I feel motivated and inspired to do so today. So what I have written on the screen here, just so we can kind of go talk about what we're going to review today, we're going to talk about five of maybe the most popular types of chords that you're going to find. Um, and we're doing all these chords just in the key of C. Um, so we're going to talk about the C major chord, the C minor chord, C major 7 chord, C minor 7 chord, and then the C7 or C dominant 7 chord. Now, let's start off with C major. So for the real beginners out there, um, all keyboards are broken up um, into patterns of three black keys, two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, and so on and so forth. So what I want you to do on your keyboard or OP1 is find the any two black keys that are toward the middle of the keyboard and look at this key right here. This is C, okay? And the keys to the left of it and the keys to the right of it go according to the alphabet. So C, B, A, C, D, E, F, G, and then goes back to A, B, C. All right, very beginner. I think most people probably know that already, but I just want to put that out there. Now, when we're at C and we talk about wanting to form a C major chord or a C major triad, I'm going to show you what it looks and sounds like first. This is a C major chord or C major triad. Um, how do we form this? Well, we start at C and we go up one half step, two half steps, three half steps, four half steps up from the starting note, right? And a half step is anytime you're going from one note to the note directly next to it. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going from a, a white note to a black key because these don't have a black key in between, but this is still a half step, right? So one, two, three, four, we go up, right? This is called a third, but that's how we find a what's called a major third. And then from the third, you go up three more. And that is how you find a C major chord, right? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, that's how you find a major. The easiest way to talk about finding a minor chord is find the major and then take the third, which is the middle note, and go back one half step. So instead of this, which is a E and E, we're gonna go here, which is what's called the E flat because it's directly a half step lower that is a C minor chord, okay? C major, C minor. Now, when we talk about C major seven, what we're gonna do is we're gonna form a C major chord again. And the way that I like explaining this is to figure out the last note, a seven chord means that we're gonna add what's called a major seventh on top of this. Now, how do we find a major seven? Well, the easiest way is going up one octave, octave meaning the next C, up meaning to the right, so this is another C, C two black notes. So this C is up one octave from this C. And what we wanna do from there is we want to go down a half step from the root note. So go down a half step from here, that gets here. What note is this? This is a B. That is your last note of the chord. C, E, G, B. You just formed a C major seven chord, right? C major seven. Similarly, if we want to talk about a C minor seven, we're going to start with the C minor triad. We talked about that already. And what we do here is go up one octave. And now instead of going down one half step, we're going to go down two half steps. So we're going to go to this, which is a B flat, right? Because this is B, this is B flat. So we're going to go C minor, and then we're going to add this to get a flat. So that right there is called a C minor seven. So C major seven, C minor seven. Okay. Now, last thing I want to show you is C seven or C dominant seven. Those terms can be used interchangeably. And uh, the way that we form that, it's kind of like a mix of the two things that we just did, right? So we're going to form a C major triad and we're going to add a minor seventh on top. How do we find a minor seven again? I'll pause and wait for a second. Like they do like on those kid shows. I'll wait and let you answer. Perfect. If you said two half steps lower than the octave, you'd be correct. So it's a major triad with a minor seven. Right? So those are the three chords. Major seven, minor seven, dominant seven. 
Last thing I want to talk about in this video is I want to share with you um, that those chords that we just formed can be applied to any note on the piano. Let's pick a note. Let's go right here. Let's do a hard one. So this is C. So this is A and this is A flat. So what do we say about I'm going to do all these chords again, starting with A flat instead of C. So we're going to go up four half steps to find the A flat major. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's your, your third. And then up one, two, three. One, two, three. So that chord is an A flat major. How do we find the A flat minor? We go down a half step from the third. That's an A flat minor. Okay. How do we find a A major 7? Major. Find the octave. Go down a half step. Right? A major 7. How do we find a A, I'm sorry, A flat major 7. How do we find an A flat minor 7? Well, we should know from here that we can send this and this back one half step. Right? So we can go, right? Same thing. How do we go from uh, A flat minor 7 to an A flat dominant 7? We turn, we keep the minor 7 up top, but we're going to turn the 3rd back to a major 3rd. And that is today's video. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. I'll probably make a lot of these um, to be able to share some information uh, about chords so that you guys can apply them if you have an OP1 field, if you're watching this, or just in general, if you just want to know about chords. Um, I just want to also plug something that I'm doing every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is a weekly live session that I meet with a few people, um, and I'm teaching them in, you know, via a Zoom. I'm teaching them how to apply learning chord progressions, not just chords, but chord progressions and applying that to their own music. Um, it's a lot of fun. I'm truly enjoying it. So if that's something that you're interested, please take a look at the link in the description um, and you can find some more information about that. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.